I don't know what time it is, but I know, I know it is Sunday. I am, as you can tell, dying. Look at this. I even have blood on my shirt. Do you see that blood? I need to soak my shirt. Oh no, my battery died. Dun, dun, dun. Why? I have four or five batteries for this camera, and wouldn't you know it, not a single one of them is charged all the way. It is Sunday. And you will not be seeing a Chicago trip vlog like I was hoping. Uh, me and John and our two good friends, we're going to go to Chicago for an adult-only weekend. Um, my parents wanted to see the kids and have them out at their house. So we're going to drop them off and go and spend the weekend um, having a good old time in Chicagoland. But, but that did not happen. Wyatt ended up getting sent home from school sick on the last day of school. So Friday was his last day of school. Same with Ava. We got a phone call saying, hey, your kid's sick. He's got fever. You gotta come pick him up. So, he's been off and on sick for a while now. So, it's Kaya. Oh, you got some on your shirt. So, I wasn't at all surprised. I was kind of hoping that it was like allergies and asthma and all of that, but I think it was that combined with the cold and whatever. So, Kaya hadn't been feeling well either, and I called my mom and she was like, I don't want sick kids in my house. I don't blame her. Because what we have is really difficult to get rid of. I have, as you guys know, I've been like off and on sick for... I want to say two weeks now, which is why I finally got prescribed some prescription medication because I have a sinus infection. So I have felt like absolute garbage all weekend, so it's probably a good thing that we did not go. God works in miraculous ways. So me and John were super duper disappointed, but I am not one to sit around and wallow, at least not anymore. I used to, but life's too short. Ugh. See, that's what I sound like right now. <laughs> Life's too short. So I told John, I'm like, I want to get all the projects done. <laughs> Sadly, they were all outdoor projects. And the allergy season is upon us and having an upper respiratory infection. And that just was not probably the greatest thing in the world to be doing stuff outside. But we did anyway. So we actually built the kids a ginormous sandbox. This is something that I've been dreaming about for a while now. It took about two days to do only because we got the lumber really late in the day and we didn't have time to really work on it that night and then we worked on it for like probably four or five hours on Saturday yesterday and got it completely finished and stained and moved into its new home. We had to tear down the play set however so that is now gone and John and I are going to build a new more sturdy just swing set to somewhere else in the yard because the kids love swinging still. We're going to move the swing set somewhere else and just build a freestanding swing set John priced out those parts at Menards earlier today when he picked up some of the weed fabric and stuff because we still need to fill the sandbox. It turned out so well though. I'm pretty proud of us, um, especially John because he did a lot of the work. I mean, he, he did a lot of the cutting and logistical things. He was just like, make the pilot hole there, screw this in here, you know, that kind of thing. I'm, I'm good at following directions and I'm good at using power tools when somebody tells me how to use them, but I'm not good at like constructing stuff. He's so good at that. So yeah, so I started feeling like poop though last Last night I was like allergies and upper respiratory crap and all of that stuff so I've had an off and on bloody nose which is why that blood is right there for 24 hours now like it was bad on Friday night I bled from 9 o'clock in the evening until 11 o'clock in the morning like bleeding and felt pretty lightheaded um, but everything I read online was like if you have like any of this stuff going on those are normal and if it lasts for a long time the only thing the emergency room will do is like shove stuff up there where I'm like I can shove stuff up my nose I mean I can shove stuff up my nose um, so my bloody nose has been kind of off and on today it's when I you know I blow my nose and stuff but yeah so it's been a rough weekend so far but again I'm not I'm really trying my hardest to just stay on the positive of life in general. You guys know. Um, trying not to be too negative or complaining, stuff like that. I mean, I woke up to a comment this morning of somebody telling me that without makeup, I look about 30 years old, and when I do wear makeup, I look so many years younger. And I took that in stride. I was like, you know what? At least I look 30, because that's my age. At least they didn't say, when you don't have makeup on, you look like you're 52. Try to look at the positive things. Um, I know I don't look old. I mean, I probably do look 30, but I am 30. I don't care. Point is, I'm looking on the positive, and the positive is, is I got a lot of work done at the house. I got a lot of period videos edited and uploaded, as you guys saw. And I got to take care of my sick babies, which is all that matters. Because I know when I was sick, I never wanted to be somewhere, like, even now, if I were sick, I wouldn't want to be anywhere but with, you know, my family at home, 
comfort of my like own house. So the kids didn't feel well, and that's what being a parent is. It's making changes last minute. It's sacrificing stuff. It's sometimes being disappointed. I was telling John, you know, because he was like so bummed. John was really bummed. Um, but he was like so bummed, and I was just, he was like, aren't you upset? And I was like, you know, I am, but I've been dealing with like being a mom. I know I'm not complaining, but a little bit I'm complaining, <laughs> but I've been dealing with the whole having to change plans and nothing going the way it should or has planned to go since I was 17 and got pregnant with Ava. You know, I'm used to having to make that change. I'm used to having to say, no, I can't go somewhere. No, I can't do this. Sacrificing stuff and events and time. Like, I'm used to that. And it's just being a parent. It's being a mom. It's the, it's the sacrifice you make to be a mom or a dad. So... To me, it was just like, yeah, I'm upset, but it's like, there's nothing I can do about it, so why wallow? So, we will plan a trip later this summer to Chicago downtown, and it will be fun, and it will be worth the wait. Uh, my parents aren't going anywhere, and they want the kids, of course, for a weekend um, this summer, so we'll do it when everybody's healthy and happy, and it'll be so much more, like fulfilling because I won't feel like this. It started raining earlier. John went to the store and got a bunch of sand while I was editing videos and went and picked up my prescriptions while I edited, like I said, and uh, blew my nose about a thousand times. Uh, he's sitting here. And so now the sun is back out. It stopped raining, so we're going to go outside and finish up the sandbox. Mmm! Don't I sound delicious? <laughs> so this is the secondary little mini project that I had John do for me. Um, these are the herbs that I planted over Mother's Day weekend. They're doing amazing. I've used quite a few of them. But I wanted a like ledge to put them on. I think I'm going to put some flowers on top. But um, I saw this on HGTV's like blog. So John used, hello, <laughs> John used leftover lumber from the playset that didn't have carpenter bees in it as the steps on the sides. And then I just got two of the stair forms from Lowe's when we were there getting the stuff for the sandbox. This is where we need to plant grass, like all of this area right here needs grass. So we tried planting some with old seed, but the old seed apparently was not good, so John bought new stuff to lay down. And then this is what the sandbox looks like. It's a 6 by 8 It's monstrous, and I'm excited. As you can tell, we stained it, which the staining was perfect because it rained the next day. And that's left over from the old sandbox that was really little underneath the playhouse, and there's all the sand that we need to unpack and put down. It looks like one of them broke open when John tossed it over. And then there's the rest over A-frame that we kept from the swing set that we... I don't think we're going to build off of it. I think we're going to do all new lumber just because that stuff was really, really old and rotted. And the vegetable garden's doing amazingly well. We'll check oh, that out. Mommy. All of the strawberries are getting really good. We already ate one of them off of it. It was really tasty. Um, and the tomatoes are growing really well. I actually came out here and put like this little fine uh, bird netting around because I didn't want the bunnies and the to get to it. So I spent like an hour zip tying mesh around the wire that was already there to protect them. So, so far it's working. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what 3,000 pounds of sand looks like in the new sandbox. Isn't it gorgeous? I'm so excited. We have to reinforce the sides a little bit just because we noticed that when somebody <clears throat> when somebody puts too much weight on the outside edges, it kind of snaps down a little bit. So we have to counterbalance it a little bit. But the kids seem to really like it and it's the perfect size that'll fit the kids plus us or the kids plus their friends. So that was our exciting <laughs> that was our exciting project that we did this weekend. So I just got back from the grocery store and from Savers. I just picked up all of this metal kitchen stuff for them to play with. I got all of it for 50 bucks. I thought that was a pretty good deal. I read on a blog that it's good to get like metal stuff because it lasts longer out in the elements. So I thought this would be fun for the kids. Hey, quiet. Don't do that, bud. Why don't you move away from her if you're going to do that? So yeah, I was pretty excited about that. Are you making ice cream or cupcakes, oh. Kaya? I'm making ice <laughs> Oh, okay. Hoping the Zyrtec kicks in soon, because I am a little bit miserable. Um, I've been taking these probiotics. One of you guys on Snapchat worked, uh, snapped me and said that you worked at like a health food store and you suggested I take like a probiotic, which I have been actually for the last two days. Um, it's by Lovebug. These are the uh, Colds Suck probiotics, which I thought was pretty fitting. They showed up on, um, in my P.O. box 
I want to say like three days ago and um, it was like perfect time and I was like oh my gosh I'm gonna start taking these so this is the box it came in they also sent a yeast is a beast probiotic and then a skinny like here's the skinny is what it's called and it's supposed to like help aid in weight loss and all that but um this is the one that I've been taking and basically it says it's 15 times more effective than capsules with vitamin C zinc and echinacea and it's a big immunity boost and it's got 10 billion live cultures uh, you're supposed to take two a day and there's th 60 in a bottle um, but if you need like a big boost or a kick, you're supposed to take four a day. So I've been taking four, which wouldn't seem like a huge deal, except for they're huge. So that on top of my um, Augmentin or Moxicillin with potassium, which those are even bigger. It's been fun taking all these pills. Luckily, the Zyrtec is really small. I'm not one to usually, I don't know, I haven't actually taken... I haven't really gotten sick lately. That's the problem is I haven't been working out as often as I was last year. Um, as you guys know, since the car accident, like I haven't really gotten full back into like my workout. And then when I was finally like, I'm feeling really good now. I haven't updated lately, but I'm feeling really good now, but now I'm sick. So uh, I think if I wouldn't have had those few months of not working out, I think I probably wouldn't have gotten so sick. But I do think part of this is allergies. That's why I got the Zyrtec. The pharmacist is like, you should have been taking Zyrtec along with the Augmentin to feel better so I just went to the store and picked those up and I took one and we'll see how well that works this is like a really bad season for allergies as a lot of you guys know I never thought that I had them really but apparently I turned 30 and now I'm like allergic to the air I don't know so anyways there's a whole bunch of different probiotics that they have for the family they have stuff for uh, babies they have stuff for toddlers all sorts of things so I'll leave that website below thank you love bug for sending those I appreciate it I'll have to look into maybe ordering some more if these work I will 100% honestly say that the two days that I've been taking the four a day of the cold sucks my energy has skyrocketed like I was like Ugh. and I took them in like an hour later I was feeling a lot more energetic I don't know if it's helping symptom wise just because obviously if I am allergic to something in the air I wasn't you know whatever but I definitely had a boost of energy so I'll continue taking those I also got some stuff from Revlon that was sent I might as well just do like a mail day right now <laughs> I got some stuff from Revlon they, they sent a bunch of their mascaras and then it says the new mega multiplier launching next month I don't know which one that one is which that's the dramatic volume super length like ultra volume um, ultimate all-in-one this must be it so, so this one's the new one, is the Mega Multiplier. So I'm all for trying to find a new drugstore uh, mascara that I like. I used to use the CoverGirl one that was like thick in volume. It was the red one. Uh, but I've never tried any Revlon, so I'm excited to try those. And then Pixie sent three of their peel and polishes. I say three because I've been using one in the shower, which it's amazing. Love, love, love them. I do want to do a giveaway soon, so maybe I'll add these to the giveaway. And then, um, I'm not sure where this came from. This just showed up at my mom's old house so I need to change that address to whoever sent this. It's shampoo and conditioner but look at that packaging. How cute is that? It's plastic but it looks kind of like it could be glass. And then there's like this bamboo fiber spray. That's neat. So there's that. And then I got this little box in my P.O. box too. This is like a little snack box. And this is from Taste and Curiosity. Snacks from around the world. Uh, oh cool, and it's just like a little snack box. And I also got something from a PR company that I actually have never received anything from before. And these seem to be skincare. What is this? What is this? It's by a company called Skin. It's from Iceland, an Icelandic skincare company. And it says, Kelly, I hope you like these Skin Iceland products. They're all tailored towards stress relief and revitalizing beauty. Do people think I'm stressed? <laughs> I am a little bit, but it's okay. I think a little bit of stress is okay and warranted when you're a mom of three. This is a facelift in a bag. Ooh, that looks interesting. These are uh, glacial skin cleansing cloths, which I love skin cleansing cloths. This is an arctic elixir with raspberry stem cell complex. A daily cooling lotion. So cool. Thank you, skin. That was very nice of you. And then last but not least, I got a package from one of you guys. This is somebody who I've been talking on Snapchat with, and she snapped me and was like, can I please send you some Pringle, uh, ketchup Pringles? Like, have you ever tried them? I was like, no, I've never tried them. Like, that sounds so cool. And she's like, can I send you them? 
I told her she didn't have to. You guys need to know that you don't ever have to send me stuff. But she wanted to send them, so I thought that was so sweet. So I'm gonna see what's in here. Oh my gosh, why did you send? You were only supposed to send the Pringles. Not anything else. So ketchup Pringles. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. These are gonna be so fun to eat with the kids because the kids love ketchup uh, chips too. Oh, milk chocolate bunnies. Girl, thank you so much. I'm so happy I'm done with my diet. Oh, look how cute these are. These will go perfect with my little um, Instax Polaroid camera. Oh, look how cute. And a scrapbook kit. Oh my gosh. You're too nice. What's in here? Oh my gosh. You're too nice. Don't send me stuff, guys. You don't need to send me stuff. Aw, oh, look how cute those are. Little socks. Oh my gosh. I love these mini Cadbury eggs. They are so good. And I just ate my last Easter ones. So thank you. And it's from Delmeta. Delmeta. I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. I asked my husband a few times and he had no clue either. So I hope I'm not pronouncing it wrong. But Delmeta. Delmeta. Mm -hmm. I don't know because M-E-T-A like by itself is usually pronounced meta like metadata I don't know let me know anyways and then there's stuff in this bag let's see some V wax strips ooh that's exciting I'm gonna wax my legs some sensational nail gel ooh, what are those that's interesting I'm gonna have to try those some Tresemme and Vichy products I do have some Vichy products actually and then some Jergens products. Thank you. That's so nice of you. So thank you very much. Oh my gosh. Like I said though, you guys don't ever need to feel like you need to send me anything. But I very much appreciate it. It's very sweet of you. So thank you. I'm going to read this note though off camera because I don't, not everybody wants to be like, you know, put out there like that. Just because I do that to myself doesn't mean everybody else wants to. Oh, that's so cute. She made a little card. Oh, I want to show you guys, but I don't know if she wants me to show you. I'm not going to show you. Should I show you? I don't know. I don't know if she wants her face on camera. I can't show you. Basically, I'll just say it's a little like picture card and it's got a picture of her and her husband and a picture of us and it says, thank you. We appreciate everything you do for your fans, family, and friends. Thank you, Kelly. I'm going to start crying. I've been very emotional lately. You guys know that. So thank you. Oh, I'm gonna start crying. What is wrong with me? Anyways, I want to let you guys go for a little bit while I go and do some yard work and hang out with the kids in the backyard. Oh my gosh, my eyes. It's my allergies. It's not, I'm not crying. <laughs> well, these are from one of our subscribers. Can you say thank you? Thank you. Thank you. Do you want to try them? Yes. Yeah. Do you guys like ketchup? I don't think you guys like ketchup chips. I love. Oh, God. I like I love them. I know you do. I was just being kidding. I was I kidding. Know. I haven't tried them yet. All right, all right. What do you say? Thank you. Thank you. What do you say when you want something? Please. Please. All right, take one. Take two. You can take two. Yay. Yeah. Eight. Hey, Kaya, too. Kaya's got some boogies. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> That's all right, Kaya. What do you think? Are they good? A little bit spicy, but I like them. They're a little bit spicy, but you like them? What do you think, Wyatt? They taste like ketchup chips. <laughs> yeah, huh? Are they amazing? Mm -hmm. I'll have to try to find some in a store near us. I haven't been able to find any. So let's try them. What are you doing? <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Oh my gosh, you're so good. Hey, get your little fingies out of there. Yeah. These are really, really good. Thank you so much. Now I'm gonna have to try to find these near me. I have not been able to find them anywhere. But yeah, now I'm now I really like these Pringles ones. Uh oh. What? Yeah. good? Uh-huh. <laughs> a little bit too good. A little bit too good, exactly. Would not be a holiday weekend without a cookout, so I'm making burgers. And the kids are laying out in the sun after playing with the water table. And I got most of that garden bed weeded. I just have to get from there to there and then all the way back on the other side of the daylilies. So it's a long job, but I need food in my stomach because I'm starving. We got burgers, baked beans, corn salsa, and tortillas. Kai's having a vegetarian hamburger, right? What do you have on your hamburger? Or I guess it's not a hamburger. What do you have on your vegetarian burger? Um, <clears throat> lettuce, pickle, and... Tomato. Um, tomato. Um. Onion. Onion. Ketchup. And. Mayonnaise. Oh, you're mayonnaise. missing the cheese. 
Yeah. You don't want cheese. Okay. So you guys know how I had to buy John all new khakis and he got mad at me? This is the next thing I'll be buying him new pants of. <laughs> the hole of glory. <laughs> True sign of summer, it can go from sunny and hot out to suddenly downpouring and windy. <laughs> Luckily, I just got all of that back flower bed really well weeded. I still have to do over there on the left of the shed, and then I have to do my side garden bed still. I think we're going to move around that garden bed down there because Nuna kind of runs over it and tramples everything when she runs with the next door neighbor's dog. Um, so I'll probably clear those out and just plant grass there because we're also going to put the swing set up over there like I said, but isn't this just a beautiful rain? I love this type of rain where it's still sunny out, still warm. I don't know. I really like this kind of rain. Are you guys ready to go grocery shopping? Are you excited to go grocery shopping? Why are you excited to go run errands? Press down so low. John, you always forget to adjust this headrest. Oh. 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 Because we're gonna get some ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. As you can see, I do have the pictures filled. I mentioned this in like one of my period videos, but a close-up look. That's me and John's wedding picture, one of our wedding pictures. Look how we were babies. And that's Ava when she was Kaya's age. Look how much they look alike, oh my gosh. Like, there's no mistaking that my kids belong to me because they all look exactly alike. Uh, and then there's a picture of the kids. There's a picture of them with my mom. Um, there's Kaya and White because I just thought that was a really cute picture. There's our family pictures, another family picture. And then this is kind of a me and John corner. I don't know. I don't know. He liked those pictures, so he put those up. So they look really nice. The wedding picture doesn't really fit in very well in the scheme of things. But I love that it's like the first family picture, like me and John and Ava. And um, I didn't really care, so it's going to go up there. <laughs> see, look at her. She's like, I want to be seen. I want to be seen. Whereas the other kids are kind of like, I don't really want to be on the camera. Which I've talked about that before. When my kids stop losing interest in being filmed, that's just it. You're not going to see them anymore. I'm not going to force them. Why it's getting to an age where I'm like basically feeling like I don't want to film him really at all. Ava was about this age when I was on YouTube where I stopped filming her just because they're getting older. You know, they're at like a real school where people can recognize him and he might not like that later on in life. Like, I don't know. So that might happen sooner or later, but this one still likes to be filmed. Yeah, I need to eat something though and take my antibiotic. But yeah, I'm gonna go mow the lawn. I don't know why why that needed to be discussed, but <laughs> I'm gonna go mow the lawn. I got lots of stuff I need to do really though. <laughs> Mommy, are you gonna mow the lawn in the backyard? You, why, you wanna play in the sandbox? Okay, I can mow the lawn in the backyard. I'm gonna do the front yard first though, okay? okay. Um, <clears throat> oh, speaking of the sandbox. Guys, yeah, so for everyone who's asked, this is the cover that we made. Um, I wanted something that was low profile, so that way it still made the box look nice and not like too obtrusive in the backyard. That was the whole idea of making a really nice DIY sandbox, was because I had a certain look that I was going for so that our neighbors wouldn't be annoyed by it. I asked John to make me a frame because I wanted to have it match the sandbox, so he stained the wooden frame the same color as the rest of the box. And then I wanted something that air and sun and rain could go get through because that's really important with like enclosed spaces, especially outside, is to have air and ventilation and all that. But I didn't want debris to get in, so obviously you can see it's working to keep the debris out and of course animals. John found this like mesh, uh, it's like a screen door type mesh that he basically just stapled on and it's really nice because it's super sturdy like it even says animal resistant like cats and squirrels and stuff like that and raccoons he just made a really sturdy frame for me so this is what it looks like it's heavy enough that it doesn't really lift and because it does have the holes wind doesn't catch it and blow it off but just in case we're gonna put some bungees on it and John's gonna put some like attachments on the side just to make sure because I'm paranoid like that but I think it turned out really 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 well so that's what that looks like and it didn't take him very long and it wasn't super expensive to make either yeah, for everyone wondering that is what that looks like and I just want to say that I appreciate everybody's comments like I I know some people thought that I came off as kind of annoyed um, when I responded back to some people about the cover and it was only because I had already deleted like 20 comments like when I post something on social media um, and I'm really excited about it 
it's kind of like frustrating when the first comments you get, like tons of hordes of comments, are like, you did this wrong, or don't forget that, or stuff that it's kind of like, let me just be excited about something for a few seconds, you know, before people like start picking it apart. And people may not see, think that they're doing that to me, but that is what you're kind of doing. You know, you might be trying to be helpful and all of that, but if you know me and you've been watching my videos, you should know that I'm super like OCD. I'm super over prepared most of the time. And when you Google sandbox, sandbox cover comes right after it. So I'm not new to parenting. I've been a mom for over a decade now, like 13 years I've been a mom. Um, I'm not new to sandboxes either. Like I know the importance of a cover. And so, um, yeah, like I don't think people understood that I had already deleted about 10 comments because I got so many of them on my Instagram and I started deleting them because they were so repetitive. I mean, I'd already answered two people that I had a cover on, but people kept still saying that. And then on Facebook, I deleted like a couple dozen as well because I already had said something to somebody and then other people took it the wrong way, even though me and her were like fine. Like I was like, I wasn't trying to be rude, that kind of thing. And we were fine. And then other people started getting in on that conversation. So, you know, I'd already deleted all of those comments and then people started snapping me and then people started emailing me directly on Instagram and on my personal and business emails. And it was just like so much that I just got really frustrated because it's like common sense and I just... You know, I know some people might not think of a cover, but like, if you know me, you should know that I would think of a cover. So, and again, it was like, I was so excited to show you guys this project that we'd been working on. And then for the first thing to come out of everybody's mouth was like, don't forget this, or did you remember this? Or don't, you know, be careful, um, animals are gonna get in that. It's kind of like, why are you trying to rain on my parade? You know, like, a lot of people, when I said, I, w I mentioned wanting to build a sandbox a while ago, they were like, oh, don't do that because cats do this in it and all these diseases and blah, blah, blah and silica and respiratory this and that and it was just kind of like dude like just let me have my like excitement you know I don't know like we all make our decisions for our kids and we all have to live with that like I don't know I grew up in a with using a sandbox and we got really high grade sand like play sand so anyways I wasn't trying to be rude to anybody but I just hope like you guys realize like if I don't I think this goes for everybody who's on the internet especially like even you who's watching you know, when if you don't ask, like, there's something to be said about, like, um, what is it called? Unsolicited advice. You know, you wouldn't go up to somebody at Lowe's making a sand, who's, you know, if you were next, sitting next to a stranger and they were saying, like, oh, I'm trying to build a sandbox for an employee, you wouldn't go up to them and be like, don't forget the sandbox cover or, um, you know, watch out for cats, they piss in those. Like, you wouldn't say that to a stranger. So it's kind of like, why would you, you know, say that to me? I don't know. That's kind of how I feel. Like, if I, if I ever have a question or a concern, of course I'm going to come to you guys. Like, I would ask you guys if I thought that you guys had the answer. But if I don't, then I just wish people would try me to know that like I got it I got this I got this under control you know I've been a mom for a long time I've been a homeowner for a long time I've been you know I'm 30 years old like I got this and sometimes we all have to make our own mistakes to learn from them so um, I just wish people weren't so quick to correct me or overcorrect me or advise me sometimes online because me posting a picture of a sandbox wasn't an invitation for somebody to start picking it apart and I know a lot of you guys care about us and a lot of you guys don't mean it in a mean way which is why I didn't delete those comments but a lot of you guys were kind of rude um, even John was like wow you talk about literal and that like people had rude tones to them and kind of like rain on my prey type tones so I deleted those comments there I think there's a time and place for stuff like that and when I post pictures it's not really necessarily me saying like hey tell me what I'm missing here it's just me showing you like this is really exciting this is what me and John did and we're really excited about it so Anyway, so that was our cover. I'm not upset though. That's another thing is like, I'm not upset. I feel like people read into the tone of my text the wrong way. And I really wish people would take into consideration who I am if you watch my videos before you just assume that like, because you're reading it the wrong way, like I'm mad or something. Cause I'm never mad normally in any response that I ever make to people. Unless it's like a mean comment, like a troll. Um, when the very like, few times that I've responded back to them. Yes, I respond back to them sometimes because sometimes I do want to be standing up for myself, but for the most part, I'm always like, I'm never mad or I'm never like trying to be mean. So I hope you guys know that. But anyway, so that's the cover and we're really excited. It's doing its job. It's keeping the debris out. The kids want to play in the sandbox, but I need to mow the lawn. So I'm going to mow the front lawn and then I'm going to let them play in the sandbox while I mow the backyard lawn. I feel like that's all I do. Laundry and mowing the lawn during the summer. At least that's all I've been vlogging about, huh? need to mow the backyard, finish the front, but I got a bloody nose.
the like thousandth one since this sinus infection cold thing started. I know it's just from all the like nose blowing and stuff that I've been doing, but it still doesn't make it any more like less annoying. <laughs> and I'm outside and I'm like, do I mow the lawn with the tissue in my nose and let my neighbors think I'm ridiculous or wait here? Isn't that crazy? Like I'm not embarrassed to show my period blood to thousands of people online, but I'm like, oh my God, I don't want anybody to see me with tissue up my nose while I'm mowing my lawn. <laughs> Uh, I should just mow my lawn and suck it up. Who cares? Backyard is mowed. Kaya came out and played in the sandbox for a little bit, but then she was like, I'm ready to go inside after about 20 minutes, so I don't blame her. It's really windy out, which makes playing with the sand not so much fun, but I have so much gardening I need to do out in that flower bed. Oh, I'm not gonna do it today. I'm too tired. All right, guys, so I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna snack on a banana real quick and uh, take this little doggy for a walk, and I'm gonna take the kids on their scooters. But my battery's about to die, and I don't really feel well, and so keeping up with the whole vlogging thing while trying to maintain normalcy and taking care of the kids and the house and getting them outside is uh, a little bit too much for me right now. So I'm gonna let you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. As always, thank you for watching. If you like these videos, give them a thumbs up because that way I know to make more of these kind of videos and you're not focused on my face whatsoever. There you go. Oh, that's probably why because it's not really fun to look at right now. I'm a mess. Um, so I will talk to you guys on my next video and I do have my period favorites video coming up. I will edit that, the rest of that tonight and that'll be up in a few days. So I'll talk to you all later. Bye!